Um, I looked at your um, announcement, obviously, you guys um, got a 2,000 metre RC program mm -hmm. um, at King Solomon and Python, and we, I think the last time we spoke, that was sort of your, your first up target um, prospects. Yeah. Uh, you, you're doing a fixed loop uh, test at King Solomon, um, and, 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 and ground checking the, the, mm. the fixed loop you did at Python. So can you give uh, us a, you know, a brief on what how that is going in, in the strategy behind that? Yeah, sure. So after listing late last year, so we've really, we, we're only five months old, we've been spending quite a bit of time in the Mount Isa area um, looking at the old, old workings that are there. So there's numerous old copper gold occurrences in the whole Mount Isa area. And so we've got around almost 1,600 square kilometres of tenure, which is a, a huge parcel of land out there and there's a lot of old occurrences that were mined in say the last 100 years where the old timers really just focused on shallow workings so but there's very little drilling or modern geophysics being done over these areas to test if uh, these the mineralization extends at depth so there's obviously been some recent success by some of our neighbors like Carnaby where they've been doing exactly that they drilled under nil desperandum and, you know, they're getting spectacular copper gold hits. So we helped, to, we hope to sort of emulate that success. We know the copper gold mineralisation is there, but it's a matter of going through all your targets in a systematic way and, and testing those. So we've gone through a ranking exercise where we've said, OK, look, Python and King Solomon, especially King Solomon, have an extensive amount of old workings like old shafts and shallow pits, etc evidence of copper sulphides. So we thought we'll try a, a fixed loop EM survey at King Solomon and Python. And that at King Solomon came up with a coincident EM response with around those old workings. And that's what we'll be testing with this initial RC program. And also we came up with a EM conductor at Python. And that's looking really exciting too. And as you said, we went out there and ground truthed it. EM conductors can be things like black shale or graphite, which we're obviously not interested in. We want the copper gold. But what we found when we ground truthed at Python, there were no workings around this EM conductor, but we found that there was anomalous sulphur and copper in the rocks. So that's really encouraging. And the geophysicist model says that the mineralization should start about 10 metres deep and get better with depth. So that, that's really encouraging and that's what we'll be drilling as well. So the ground proofing is effectively geological proofing of trying to, to, to find the reasons why you, you have a conductor there. Yeah. The reasons you don't have a conductor in it, some ways. Yeah, so a process of elimination, you get a conductor. Um, if it's graphite or black shale, you know, that's not much fun. We don't want that. So we're, we're very happy that we found some anomalous sulphur and, and copper there as well. So.